Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to another video. In actual fact, this is a bit of an emergency video. Some of you may have watched my how to record YouTube with VLC video, which I did over five years ago. And I'm not sure why, but recently it became a recommended video for a lot of you guys out there um, uh, to watch. And first of all, I'd like to thank you all for your lovely comments. Um, I've been inundated with comments on it. Uh, it's, it's been really good, but very shocking to me that uh, a video that was so old was suddenly recommended. But recently I've been getting a lot of negative comments about the fact that I should be taking the, that video down because it no longer works and you can't do what I stated all those years ago, which is fair enough, I suppose. But it did lead me to want to investigate some of the issues that you guys are having and why VLC no longer seems to be able to stream YouTube video for you to be able to record it and stuff like that. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys a workaround and how to sort this out. And to do it, we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to I'm going to search for the very latest uh, VLC download. So let's open up a browser and we'll search for VLC download, which we can get from videoland.org. And rather than just go straight ahead and click the download VLC button, I just wanted to see if there is uh yet yeah, there is a 64-bit version. I'm on a 64-bit operating system, um, so I'm going to go for the 64-bit installer. So if I wait a few seconds here, I'm sure down in the bottom left-hand corner, we'll see that it starts to download. I'm going to say keep that. So down comes our very latest version of VLC, which is version 3.0.8, and that is as of the 28th of January 2020. So now it's downloaded, I'm going to open it, and I'm going to install it. So let's just go through the defaults and click next, 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 and install. And we can close this browser window down now behind. We don't need that anymore. So now it's finished uh, downloading, finished installing, so I can say finish. Privacy and network access policy, allow metadata, whatever, yet yeah, we'll just continue with that. So let's try and uh, recreate the issues you guys are having. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to YouTube and let's find a video um, 4K demo. And uh, we'll choose this first one in the list here. It will take you to. Just pause that for a second because all I'm interested in is the address. So I'm going to copy that address. And we're going to go to media on VLC, open network stream, and I'm going to paste that address in there. And I'm going to select play. And oh, we just got a flash of it then, didn't we? Which I guess is what a lot of you guys are having the issue with. So it doesn't seem to want to play uh, anything from YouTube or stream anything from YouTube. Now, I've since found out the reason to this. And it is down to a certain file. Let me show you where it is. So let's open up our Explorer. And we're going to go into the C drive and into the place where VLC currently lives. And it should be under program files because I've got the 64-bit version. And we should find VLC. There it is, Video LAN. If you've got the 32-bit version, then you want to go into program files x86. But I've got 64 bit, so I'm going into program files. In there, we've got a VLC folder. Let's open that. And then inside here, we have an LUA folder. Let's open that. And inside there, we've got many other folders. And the one we're interested in is the playlist. And if we go into the playlist, you'll see right at the bottom, we've got a file called youtube.luac. Now, if you see this on your computer and you don't get anything after the word YouTube or, you know, basically these file extensions at the end here, you can, uh, they're not always switched on by default. On your version of Windows, if you go up to view and then into options and then into view again, 
you will see there will be a box here that says hide extensions for known file types. If that's got a tick in it, take it out, press apply, OK, and you will see the dot blah 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 extension of whatever files you have in that directory. So we need to replace this youtube.lauc file with one that's going to allow us to stream YouTube through VLC. Why it can't be done now, why they've made these changes, I don't know. But basically, I have a URL here, which I'm going to add to the description, so don't worry. And we want to navigate to this place to get the most recent youtube.lua file. So I'll open up the browser, I'll paste it in. And here we can see we have this huge script. And basically, I'm going to copy that whole script. Probably could have pressed Control and A, couldn't I? Never mind. And I'm going to copy it. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong thing there, didn't I? Copy. Close that down. Close that down. And let's create a new text document. And we'll open the text document up. And we'll paste in all of that script that we got from that web URL. And I'm going to save it. Now going back to our Explorer, we need to uh, rename the file we've just created exactly the same as this, youtube.luac. So I'm going to right click on the new file I've created. I'm going to rename it and call it YouTube. And then after the dot, we're going to get rid of the TXT and put LUAC and press enter. It will give us a warning because we are changing the extension of that particular file. We'll say yes, and there we have it. I should now be able to just drag and drop that in there, and then it will give me the opportunity to replace the file in the destination, which I'm going to agree to. And then it will say you need to provide administrative permissions. I'm going to say continue. And now that LUAC, the new one, which we can see today's date on, is now in there. So let's open up VLC again now. And we'll go to media and into open network stream. And we can see that the, uh, the last URL is already in there. So I'm just going to leave it there and press play. And lo and behold, the 4K demo starts to play. And the whole demo's there. I can skip through it all and pause All your senses and resonate deep inside. And there you go. So now you can really revert back to the video I made all those years ago and carry on recording YouTube with VLC. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.